There are a billion people living in uh, extreme poverty. We, we see climate change and human activities really threatening our planet. Sustainability, above all, concerns human well-being and balancing environmental, economic and societal issues. Our vision has been that the same way uh, the digital revolution and the computational science are impacting business and uh, science and many other sectors, the digital revolution could also impact key challenges concerning sustainability. The Institute for Computational Sustainability started back in 2008 with funding from uh, the National Science Foundation our idea was that uh, computational science can and should help address uh, key challenges that we face today. The goal of the Institute for Computational Sustainability is sort of a call to arm. How is we as a profession can use the tools that we're developing to address issues that, that integrate with, with a range of sustainable questions, and whether that be in the development of, of energy-related materials, or whether it be in natural resource planning, a, an NGO trying to think about how best it could use its resources to achieve its goals. Sustainability problems are unique in scale and complexity. Typically, we are dealing with very complex systems. We are dealing with lots of data, these problems lead to new questions in computer science and by addressing them, we are also advancing the field of computer science. Now compute power that we, for example, have in the lab is comparable to, let's say, maybe one-tenth of the human brain. Combined with our ability to collect millions and millions of data points about our world um, and the machine learning capabilities has given us these new powers that, that really did not exist. The Institute for Computational Sustainability is a, a, a wide network. It brings together computer scientists, but also researchers from many other disciplines, ecologists, hydrologists, conservation planners. There's hundreds, more than 350 proposed dams in the Amazon. So it's dots all over the map. My group can generate the information on the ecology or the hydrology of these river systems, but we really can't identify how these different combinations of dams compare without this state-of-the-art computation. What we can do is identify whether or not there's some combinations of these dams, right, that might be better than others. Are there some dams that, if they were built, it would completely modify the Amazon basin? A key question concerning biodiversity is how species are distributed across landscapes over time. We are developing uh, new models and uh, techniques for species distribution prediction. Our species distribution models have been used by, for example, the Nature Conservancy. Our models provide uh, good uh, predictions of when the birds fly over Sacramento Valley, and during this period, the goal is to create water habitat. focus of our research currently is uh, accelerated materials discovery. We're trying to identify new materials and develop them so that they can be used to solve problems. We make so many materials that it is literally impossible to manually work out the thousands of samples we can make in a day and understand them. As it stands now, people use platinum in their fuel cells. Uh, that makes the fuel cells very expensive. We have, through our techniques, identified a new material that involves no platinum uh, and could serve as the basis for better and cheaper uh, fuel cell. Bike sharing systems are a new technology. You have a fleet size that, that you want to uh, disperse throughout the city. You want to have bikes where people want to rent and you need to have docks where people want to park their bikes. And basically this needed a new mathematics to how to model these kinds of systems because there really wasn't a natural analog of it. We use the, the underlying mathematics of probability of, of stochastic uh, modeling so as to have a mathematical formulation to how to think about what those flows are like. 
It's all just a question of trying to figure out ways to either rebalance the system, to configure the system, to incentivize users. We proposed that users could earn points for doing good rides. You're taking a bike from a station which has too few docks available, or dropping a bike at a station where there are too few bikes available. And this means that we have a mechanism at a much more co cost-effective way and a much more sustainable way. The U.S. power grid is rather old. We're already pushing it to the breaking point. If we have very many more people move into major metropolitan areas, we are going to start seeing failures. So one of the things that I've worked on with a couple of students is techniques that from very limited measurements give you some notion of where things are going wrong in the electrical power grid so that you can feed that into a control mechanism. We want something better. We want something that pollutes less, that ideally is robust to the types of things that we know are going to come about because of climate change. Computational sustainability and the digital revolution can really play a key role in addressing the sustainability challenge that you, we face today in balancing environmental, economical and societal needs.